Probably one of the least famous Chinese billionaires in the whole world, Cheng Yingling, a person who made his fortune by breeding pigs. Yingling isn't just an average billionaire. He's the wealthiest farmer in all of China, with a fortune of over $20 billion now. But how exactly did he pull it off? Let's look at how he did it and how the global pork shortage helped get him here, starting with life and education. Pork is the staple meat in China. In 2014, more than 700 million pigs were sold in markets. Chen was born in 1965 to a not-so-wealthy family in China. Most of the country was underdeveloped at the time. He did great in school and had to work several different jobs to help his family make ends meet. When he was 17, his father brought in a bunch of pigs, hoping they'd help him make some money. But unfortunately, everyone died because of the swine flu, except one. This intrigued Chen, who then decided he wanted to study animal husbandry to help people raise their hogs so they wouldn't die in such events. At age 20, in in 1985, he got into the Henan Agricultural University and later graduated with a bachelor's degree. Chin then got a job at Nanyang Food Company, a public business that makes food and gives out iron rice bowl jobs to most people who work there. For those who don't know, an iron rice bowl job gives employees security that they'll have for their lives. The billionaire then met his wife Chen, a vet, while working for the company. But three years later, the two decided to quit their jobs and start a business themselves, moving on to the first pig to the first billion. When the two first started the company, the country had changed quite a bit from what it used to be in Chin's childhood, though he never forgot why he started all of it in the first place. So, along with his wife, he moved over back to his hometown and started doing what he wanted to in the first place, helping people raise cash by raising pigs. Their business first started with just 22 pigs in 1992. They wanted as much control over the business from the start. While the companies in the food industry only focus on one step of the chain of production, the couple wanted to make sure that they could add in as many operations as possible. Not just that, but they also wanted to use all of the technology that existed at the time to put up quality and production control. The company turned out to be a success, as they were much more productive than other competitors in the market. Just two years after starting out, they had a 10,000% increase, a staggering 2,000 pigs, which went up to 10,000 in 1997. Next up, a new company. A World Bank-supported project to control pollution from agriculture is addressing this in South China's Guangdong province. The billionaire then made another company integrate the one he already had and called it Muan Farming. Muan then slowly added more activities under its belt, all the way from breeding to raising. They had smooth growth until 2010 when their business exploded. As the company wanted to expand even further, it got a loan from the International Finance Corporation, the unit of the World Bank that invests in the private sector. That enabled the duo to get even more pigs, grow the company, and integrate even more different kinds of pork production operations. The company was then rebranded from Muan Farming to Muan Foods stuff, and now also slaughtered pigs as well as bred and raised them. They were able to raise 1 million pigs annually for slaughter by 2013, and just a year after that, the company was listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Another year after that, Chin officially turned into a billionaire, with a fortune of $1.2 billion. Let's look at his stratospheric rise. Insemination time for each sow will last from 15 to 20 minutes. Currently, Iowa is the state with the largest number of pigs in the country. By 2019, his fortune skyrocketed again to $4.3 billion. So how exactly did he go all the way from that to $35 billion in just two years? Well, the answer is swine flu. In 2018, the Chinese pork industry was ravaged by the African swine flu. Luckily, Chin was already prepared for it. The company had started to use AI-powered technology and much more to detect anomalies in their pigs, preventing the disease from spreading to other pigs in the drove. And thanks to the company's obsession with control and innovation, it was able to deal with the flu. From 2019 to April 2021, the billionaire had the fastest growing global wealth, totaling a staggering $35 billion in April 2021. The recent pandemic was another reason for his success, as lower access to pork raised prices as well. Though, since then, his net worth has taken a dip and has come down to $20 billion. Lastly, a commitment to excellence. Relentless innovation, commitment to excellence, along with vertical integration, allowed the duo to turn into China's most successful successful farmers, with them having bred over 10 million piglets. But their story is interesting for a number of reasons. They wanted to have as much control as they could and stayed away from outsourcing. That, combined with endless innovation, made them stand above the competition. Not just that, but they grew and scaled the business up at incredible speeds once they found the perfect way to breed pigs. But we can't forget about vertical integration. Once the company was unable to breed more pigs, they started raising them and started an entire chain of pork produce. How the global pork shortage quadrupled his fortune. Coming up, a skyrocket 
skyrocketing net worth. While tech founders and fashion magnates may be at the top of the billionaire index at Bloomberg, it's a Chinese pig farmer with the fastest growing fortune. The chairman's net worth at Nuan Foodstuff, a Chinese pig breeder, Qin Ying Ling, has gone way past $6.6 billion in 2019 and skyrocketed to a total of $8.56 billion. At least, that's what the Bloomberg Billionaire Index says. Not just that, but Blake Schmidt and Emma Vickers over at Bloomberg report that that's an increase of over 341%. A shortage of pork worldwide allowed the company to raise its prices for more of a profit in 2019 second half. Bloomberg further reports that the company made 260% more in the third quarter of 2019 than it did in the same time last year. The company's success directly benefits the 54-year-old billionaire who makes up most of his worth with the 60% stake he shares with his wife. According to Muan's website, the billionaire founded the pork producing company with just 22 pigs in 1992. Not just that, but the African swine flu outbreak on Chinese pig farms led to pork production in the company being cut by a third, further increasing prices by 50%. China is the biggest producer and consumer of pork in the world, and the shortage forced its government to take the meat out of its stock to meet the market's demands. They even had to set up AI, facial recognition, and several blockchain technologies in order to monitor pigs' health on farms. Additionally, pork billionaires are outliers among the Chinese ultra-wealthy. Chin's representative at Muan Foodstuff didn't immediately reply to Business Insider's request for a comment on how the company's chairman's net worth and stock price have been increasing. Though Chin isn't the only billionaire from the pork industry to see a considerable boost in his net worth ever since 2019, even the biggest producer of pork net worth, Liu Yonghao, who's the chairman of the New Hope Group, has seen his fortune almost double to about $11 billion in just the past year, at least according to Bloomberg. But only a few other billionaires in China have had the same success as Chin and Liu. According to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index, fortunes in America and France outpaced those in China for the first half of 2019. Business Insider reported that they grew at a rate of 35%, while Chinese fortunes grew at 17%. Meanwhile, the collective net worth of all billionaires in China grew by 15%. Finally, suffering fortunes. There is probably no one in the entire world whose fortunes have suffered more than the billionaires in Hong Kong. While most of the wealthiest residents of Hong Kong mostly enjoy the large amounts of profit that come with a bullish market, despite going through vast amounts of losses in market routes. The deputy head of the Global Financial Services Market Intelligence Strategic Analysis Group, Chirag Thakral, over at Capgemini, had an interview with Business Insider. During the interview, the deputy talked about how mass protest and civil unrest over the past couple of months has wiped about $15 billion from the 10 wealthiest people in Hong Kong between July and August, explicitly talking about how two members of the wealthiest family in all of Hong Kong, the Kwok family, along with the owners of the largest real estate developers of the city, saw a drop of over a billion dollars in their net worth. On the other hand, Li Ka Shing's, better known as Superman, fortune fell by $3 billion. On the 15th of August, Li put out ads all over the city's newspapers, specifically asking its residents to stop anger and violence for love, according to reports by the South China Morning Post. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts about the movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.